All right, so this really needs to be discussed. Now, the article that I read that I got this from is from the website The Conversation. So, haven't looked into uh, how truthful they are or whatnot, but this was interesting because when I tried to look up more stuff on the SARS COVID 1 vaccine, very, very, very hard to find anything on it. Uh, not trying to be conspiratorial or anything like that, but so the SARS COVID 1 vaccine was in animal trial testing and during animal trial testing, they had found that it was causing immune system deficiencies or immunodeficiencies. I forgot how they worded it. Um, I took the screenshot of it and I still have the in my history if anyone's actually really interested. But so no human trials were conducted and the vaccine program stopped from what the article claimed because the virus disappeared. Um, you can run with that how you want. It's interesting though, isn't it? A vaccine doesn't show promise for humans and then all of a sudden a virus magically disappears. I mean, they completely disappeared. It's very, very odd, but no one wants to discuss that. And, you know, people wonder why there's vaccine hesitancy with this COVID vaccine. It's not anti-science, but... When the history of vaccines normally go through 10-year testing, I think the shortest vaccine I read was four years. And I think that was measles or mumps. I'm not exactly sure. But still, um, when anything is rushed, especially when it comes to medicine through the government, um, why would anyone trust it? You know what happens when things get rushed and the government's involved? You get a thing that happened like with the Challenger. People dead. So... Uh, completely ridiculous to be bashing people who are vaccine hesitant and not just straight anti-vax. If you're completely anti-vax, I just think you're a moron. So, but if you have hesitancy about this vaccine, like I still haven't been vaxxed and I'm not going to, um, hey, there's nothing wrong with you. So you just have a logical mind and that's not welcome these days.